Good evening everybody, Simon here, Explosive Action, with a, a late running July DVD and Blu-ray update. Uh, small pile as you can see in front of me here. Let's get cracking on that. First one, arrived today and watched immediately. I've been wanting to check this one out for a long time. This is Hell Hole uh, through Scream Factory. It was announced last year, maybe the year before. Um, and then it was unannounced when Scream said they couldn't find any usable elements. Well, they finally did. It's um, a composite of the interpositive and a 35mm. Um, there's a warning at the start that says you'll notice the difference. It's pretty minimal, I've got to say. Uh, the film is quite dark as it's in a prison, and I think it's a lot of the grittier... Um, scenes that are dark anyway that have been sourced from the 35 but anyway uh, I just watched it then uh, sleazy is not a accurate description for this film it is utterly sleazy um, good fun of course just your usual women in prison boobs lots of boobs um, I think there's some boobs in it too and uh, yeah you know the evil warden slash scientist that is uh, experimenting on the, the um, inmates slash patients in this mental asylum prison um, trying to perfect a liquid lobotomy and yeah it, oh, look at this is some sleazy stuff but yep good that it's finally out good fun uh, pick this up from the Vinnies for a dollar crime spree. Reasonably rare DVD apparently to find this. Um, it's a French but spoken in English uh, action comedy with uh, Gerard Depardieu and uh, who else was in this? Harvey Keitel. There is a comparison to uh, Snatch on there which is one of my favourite films. Uh, so that means it's going to have to be pretty bloody good for me to like it. But um, yeah, I think I will probably like this film, Crime Spree. Let me know if you've seen it. Another one from the Vinnies. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. For two dollars, the complete season one and two of Sliders. Now I remember enjoying this when this was airing in the mid nineties. Um, I didn't stay with it for too long, but I think I probably saw most of the first two seasons. And from what I understand, after about season three, it just goes to hell. It changed networks, and John Rice davies dropped off. And uh, Anyway, so I'm happy enough to have this six-disc set of two bucks of sliders. Bit of fun. Next up, awesome set here. Blue Sunshine, uh, the 4K remaster put out by... Film centrics, who I had not heard of prior to this. Um, you get a hell of a lot in this set. Uh, try and get the. This is actually quite hard to get out because it is so jam packed. Hang on. Do the older uh, under the arms trick. And it's not even working. This is, it is so tightly packed. But anyway, look. As you can see, there's another cover underneath. Oh, there we go. Good. Alright, check this out. You get uh, three discs, I think it is. You get a sheet here. You get the, uh, the YMCA card. Um, Stanford University uh, scholarship certificate thing there. You get most importantly, actual tabs of the Blue Sunshine, which is brilliant. Um, another disc, or is it four discs? It might be four. It's insane. You get a booklet. Um, there's some more card things under there. Like, seriously, this is utterly packed. It's going to take me a while to get this back in there. It is so packed, it was really hard to shut the case. So I'm just going to pop that over there for now. But that, that is one hell of a release. Blue Sunshine. Uh, very happy to upgrade that. The previous DVDs have always been a bit rubbish and uh, of course it looks fantastic. New Code Red Headhunter um, yep 80s supernatural horror 
um, an upgrade from my old 4x3 DVD, of course. This one looks quite nice. It is a cheesy little uh, horror film, if you couldn't tell by that cover. But it is good fun, I thought. It drags a bit in places, but, you know, overall, it's, uh, it does what it says on the tin. This one, Roller Coaster. I do like my, um, well, it's not a disaster film. What do you call this kind of thing? Um, terrorist attack kind of film, I guess. Roller Coaster. I only just got the DVD, and then um, I got this through a trade. I was planning on holding off buying this for a while, but um, the trade price was too good. Uh, roller Coaster. Definitely looks like a lot of fun. Uh, fix this pile up. Right. Next up, don't know anything about this, but it was in the latest Code Red piles. Necromancy. Uh, stars Orson Welles. There he is. Looks pretty uh, 70s Satanism to me. Who's seen Necromancy? Or can you uh, tell me about that film? I am going in blind. As I am with this one, but geez, I'm happy to actually be able to check it out. Family Honor. It's got to be one of the oldest Code Red DVD titles that he's been going on about for since the dawn of the label, and it just never happened. Finally, we have the Blu-ray. I've not popped it in yet. Apparently, there's some small issues. It says it's 166 to 1, and it's actually 4x3. Uh, 133 to 1, but, you know, that's all right. And the print is average, but it does, I think, say here that all 35mm negatives are lost. And so this is made from the director's 16mm prints and other elements. But, look, it doesn't matter. This is going to be the best you will ever probably get of this gritty little... Um, crime film which I've been really eager to check out for a long time so family honour good stuff oh yeah a bit of chuck threw this in them straight away as soon as I got it you better believe it Invasion USA 88 film to release a really nice slipcase too looks amazing seriously good upgrade got a couple of nice documentaries on there too little interview documentaries um, about uh, Chuck Norris and Canon Films. It's good fun. Uh, and yes, the film looks, sounds great, and it's as fun as it's always been. Two more I picked up in a trade. Midnight movies of Yon Gary and Conga. Obviously, rip-offs of uh, Godzilla and King Kong films. Uh, I have not watched these yet, but it was a cheap pickup for me, and they look like good fun. And, uh, geez, I haven't even wrapped, unwrapped this one yet. Trances 3, next in the series. I've got one and two on Blu-ray. I actually have the whole DVD box set, but, you know, they all look terrible. These Blu-rays are a revelation, particularly on the first film. The Has anyone ever seen the DVD of the first film? Uh, the, the first release of it is actually cut from the laser disc and features the side A to B flipping like you can actually see it say a to b and there's a black pause for five seconds hilarious but anyway this is trances three death lives and um series goes downhill after part three but whatever scarecrows latest from 88 slasher range i completely did not need this we have a local release but you know those pesky uh, numbers 16 like pokemon you gotta have them all Shark and Saw, Women's Prison Massacre. Thank you, Jim Winolski. Dominic Swain, Tracy Lords, Crappy Sharks. You know the drill. It's it's just amazing. Uh, You'll Like My Mother. Now, these next two um, are both Scream titles, and I know very little about them, but they look like pretty cool uh, 70s, and well, I think one of them is 60s. This is 70s, isn't it? Yeah, so this is 72. They look like pretty cool um, slow burners. You'll like my mother. And the other one, which I think this is the 60s film, is I Saw What You Did with Joan Crawford. It's a pretty cheesy cover, isn't it? I think this was 60s. 65, yeah. So I don't know too much about these, but um, I do need to get more older horror films. Um... 60s and 50s horror is absent mostly in my collection if you uh, discount the hammers and uh, and you know, the, the sci-fi films um, 
that kind of thing is quite absent. Now, this is the <laughs> I forgot to take this out of the pile. This is the 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 original um, Deep River Savages slipcase from '88. Anybody that had the original release will probably have the same problem as I did, where the slipcase was poorly made and uh, just burst. They all just burst. They couldn't contain the disc. Well, I got the uh, replacement in here somewhere. There we go. They sent me the new one. Which is nice, just the slip, not the uh, the disc. So yes, don't need that anymore. Got the real one. Yakuza Apocalypse. Don't know what it is about Eastern Eye Blu-rays, but they're always thirty-five dollars, which is just too much. Um, so I got it on a twenty percent off JB for twenty-seven or something like that, which is still quite high, but whatever. This is the uh, latest um, film by. Um, Oh, Jesus, his name's just... Oh, Takeshi Miike. Or Takeshi Mike, depends how you want to say it. Completely forgot his name for a second there. Um, this one looks like it's going to be good fun. It's called Yakuza Apocalypse. Uh, I mean, come on. I'll like this film. I know I will. Please let me know your thoughts if you've seen Yakuza Apocalypse. Yep. Mega Shark versus Colossus. Well, I didn't have it. That's about all i got to say about that one. Apparently stars something called Team Unicorn. I didn't know what that is, but I looked it up and it's some kind of all-girl gamers group. I don't know. Whatever. Apparently that's worth putting on the cover. Anywho. So this is like the fifth film in this series. Thank you, Asylum, for your crapulence. Awesome upgrade here, Dr. Death. Um, only recently got the DVD, maybe six months ago, and I watched it and it was good. Uh, it was already out of print, but I managed to sell it and pick up the Blu-ray for, well, net cost of zero because people still want the rare DVDs. So I'm very happy to pick up Dr. Death in HD. Anyone else a fan? The Arrow release of Satan's Blade. Who'd have thought I'd be in a world where I have two Blu-rays of Satan's Blade? But anyway, yes, yeah, so the Olive Disc was the first one. It came out about a year ago, I think which was cut to uh, 4x3, I think. This has the 16.9 and a 4x3, different ways of seeing the film, and I think a better suite of extras. Probably won't keep the olive, to be honest. I'll just keep this one. It's not even a great film. It starts and ends well, but the middle bit's just walking around a forest. Anyway, another one I've got two of. Here we are, another world where we've got two copies of Alien 2 on Blu-ray. Um, of course, you know, got to get those numbers, 15 in the Italian collection. Gets a lot of crap, this, for being slow and boring, and yeah, I can see that. I find it quite intriguing, and of course, the last 20 minutes is off the chain. And um, I've not checked out the transfer on this. Presumably, it's the same as the Midnight Legacy. That's fine with me. Here's something special. Rape Squad. Um, also known as Act of Vengeance. This is the flip cover. The Aussies out there that know their tapes will probably be just killing themselves at this cover because it looks like a palace explosive. There's the reverse. The actual retail cover is Act of Vengeance. It's how it is listed in the shops. But you flip it and you get that. Oh, and what's this? You get the VHS as well if you want. So the company has... I haven't cracked this yet, but... They've done a small run. I think it's a hundred. Might not be any left. Go, go check it out. Just search for um, X film, and um, you'll pick it up or you'll find it. And they've used um, old Focus video cases that were new but unused stock. So it's beautiful old '80s clamshell that was just never used. And um, it is apparently an actual dub of the explosive tape. So you know, roadshow trailers and everything. So this is how you do special editions, DVD, Blu-ray, of this trashy, trashy film. Just think I spit on your grave, that's, that's what you're getting here. Nice booklet and all that. A couple of cheapies I picked up from CEX. Um, we have the story out here, just like they do in the UK. Um, and just like I hear stories in the UK, you can buy cheap DVDs for five, ten dollars, and you will sell your old DVDs to them for twenty cents, because cunts. But anyway, this is um, 
Taste of the Blood of Dracula, which I had not seen, and I put it on straight away. And it's um, definitely one of the cheesier hammers. Uh, I did have good fun with it, though. Chris Lee looked like he was um, going by the motions in this, I thought. This one I haven't watched. Uh, Dracula is Riven, Risen from the Grave. Nice prints on these two. Not seen this one. Wonder if it is better or lesser quality than uh, Taste the Blood. And the last one, which was a whole 50 cents from CEX. Final Examination. I don't know anything about this except for Brent Huff's in it. That's right, Brent Huff. Uh, he of the Strike Commando 2 fame and Born to Fight and all those glorious Bruno Mattai films. I don't know what he's going to be doing in this, but we will, we will find out. That's this update this time. See you all next time.